Well, here we have yet again another great example, this time over in Pakistan, of the spiritual descendants of Ishmael, aka the Muslims, just doing what Muslims do best. This is um, out of Pakistan. This is uh, this was posted on November 27. This is on Jihad Watch. Uh, it says, Islamic Republic of Pakistan, 200 Christians left homeless after authorities bulldozed their homes without warning. Then he quotes Quran 860, which talks about war against all the uh, all the enemies of Allah, their Arabian moon idol. And it says 200 Pakistani Christians left homeless after authorities bulldozed their homes without warnings, without warning uh, by the Christian post. Yeah, well, this is the kind of behavior that ought to be expected from the spiritual, spiritual descendants of Ishmael. Because again, what does Genesis 16 verse 11 to 12 say? How does it describe Ishmael? Wild man against every man. And again, I've said this before, but Islam is a, spiritual, is a spirituality of Ishmael. But it says, uh, 200 Christian families remain homeless in Pakistan's capital of Islamabad after a government agency bulldozed their homes and, homes and the church building they used for Sunday worship. The government's capital developed authority uh, demolished the homes in a Christian area. Nawaz Sharif Colony is in Islamabad. The UK-based uh, group Center for Legal Aid, Assistance and Settlement said in a statement to the Christian Post, Christian residents have had not had not been given any warning or time to remove their belongings before the demolition on October 18th, the group said in a statement this week, adding that the government agency also demolished the church, but thankfully there were no injuries or fatalities. The government has not provided any alternative place for the residents to live. But why should we expect them to? Because just Muslims, the Ishmaelite, the Ishmaelite spiritual descendants, just doing what they do best. So I, I expect this from the Ishmaelite Muslims. But it says here, these Christians have lost everything, their homes and all their worldly possessions. The group's uh, director, Nasir Saeed said, many of them uh, here have lived in the, colony, in the colony for years, raising their families here and investing their life savings into building and maintaining their homes. Uh, Saeed added that the demolition came soon after the devastating floods in the country and an approaching winter. More than 1,700 people were killed and hundreds of thousands of homes were damaged or destroyed in the monsoon floods leading uh, the government, which estimated lost to, to be worth $40 billion and, and to declare a state of emergency on, on August 25th. It is imperative that the Pakistani government financially compensate the Christians who have lost their homes and provide them with somewhere else to live, Saeed said. In the home of, of the former counselor, Sabra Saeed Athwal, who, uh, who was also demolished, she called for the demolition a criminal act and expressed fears that two other Christian colonies, Akram Gil and Reshma, could also be demolished. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked by that one bit because this is what you ought to expect from the Ishmaelite Muslims. So it goes on to say in the article, uh, Athwal also fears that some extremist Muslims might have put pressure on the government agency to demolish the Christians' homes. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be be surprised by that either. Uh, it says the injustice has happened. Zoom out. The injustice has happened as Christians in Pakistan and around the world prepare to celebrate Christmas in just a few weeks. Uh, Saeed added, Open Doors USA ranks Pakistan as the eighth worst country in the world uh, when it comes to Christian persecution. Uh, and the U.S. State Department has named Pakistan on its list, list of countries of particular concern that tolerate or engage in egregious violations of religious freedom. Well, that is uh, to be expected from a Muslim country, you know, just like a Hindu country. Because, you know, I've said this before, Islam and Hinduism, two sides of the same Luciferian coin. But, you know, it's not surprising when you look at the U.S. State Department when they talk about countries who uh, are of particular concern regarding religious freedom, yet most of them are, are Muslim countries. And one of them is a Hindu country, India. Because, you know, the uh, wild nature of the spiritual descendants of Ishmael, the Muslims, they do that kind of stuff. They, they have to kill the infidel, which is, you know, Christians are included in that fold. So... This kind of stuff is to be expected when you read it in light of Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 to 12. Because, you know, I've said this before, I keep saying it, and I'll say it again. How is Ishmael described? A wild man. How are these Muslims acting? They're just doing what the verse says uh, Ishmael would do. You know, he's a wild man. And these Muslims, even though they're not Arabs themselves, they are following the spirituality of Ishmael. See, Islam is satanic, barbaric, and demonic, and they just keep proving me right when they do stuff like this. I mean, it's like a near daily occurrence over in uh, the Islamic world which again is to be expected. So anyway, don't be deceived by this this foolish liberal narrative which is sat, you know, which is thankfully kind of dying out that Islam is religion of peace because it's anything but that. Same thing with Hinduism. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.